how can you do a Big Boy 30 Special Edition and not have Corey Holcomb in the neighborhood? If you ask him about dating, Corey will speak his mind about dating. If you don't believe me, let me take you there right now. This is Corey Holcomb speaking his mind on dating. You've been warned. I always tell guys you have to go for the cute girls and in real bad financial situations. I, no, I got a homeboy. He a drag queen. Uh -huh. He works at the airline. And sometimes I need his hookups. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cheating because you got more than one woman? You don't mind a girl not loving you for who you are. <laughs> I'm not here for that. <laughs> In my opinion, I don't mean this disrespectfully. I just don't believe there's a lot of mentally stable women in this world. If you're bold enough to tell somebody who you are and they still around you, then they can't be looking at you like you foul. I've told you who I am. Big boy in the morning. All right, it is going down, man. We got our good friend, Corey Holcomb up in here. What Corey, I, I'm what almost up? nervous when I talk to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got this, man. Are you in a relationship? Yeah, yeah, I'm married yeah, sometimes. Right. <laughs> sometimes, bro. Yeah. Now, what does married sometime mean, Corey Hope? Man, you know, we get into it, but we got more like a realistic type of thing. You know, we don't always have to sleep in the same room just because right. we live there. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? I got some rules that I feel like I could sell to most couples. Really? You know though, now, I mean? now, let me tell you, man. Now, I'm in a, you know, I've, I'm married. I'm about seven years married. I have two kids. You know what I'm saying? Now, is there anything that you could tell me from now or is there anything that you could tell people either don't do it or do it this way? Well, I, I always tell guys you have to go for the cute girls and, and real bad financial situations. <laughs> right. Because <Yeah. laughs> right. some girls just don't know a lot. I right. took... The other day, I took this girl. She, you know, she's real poor. I took her to Red Lobster. Right? <laughs> she's like, I heard about this place. <laughs> <laughs> never find out who your man really is. It can destroy everything. Really though, you say never find out. I tell, like my sister was telling me about. I think he cheated over me. I was like, is he good to you? Right. Well, you won. Right. <laughs> so you telling your sister it's okay. Well, for her man to cheat? I think it, I think it's unrealistic to tell, like, women that you love, like your sister, your daughter, whoever. Right. Oh, Lord. Oh, man, you need to get away from him if he going to be out here cheating because that would make most guys a hypocrite. Right. <laughs> it, it, it really would. You don't want it to happen to your family member, but. Right, 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 right. right. On, but you're doing it anyway. Right. Go like, if somebody now. walked up to, like, if my wife's brother, somebody was like, hey, man, you out here cheating. Now nah, I'd be like, do you want me to follow you for a week? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Leave me alone, not, buddy. Right. Right. You not. Now, is there anything as far as like, man, should a man and woman be married, bro? Yeah, I think you should lock somebody down. If, like, if you if you got a girl you dealing with and you spent a lot of money on her, right? You deserve to be the yeah. only one that she with, right? Let me ask you this, man: Is there something called friends with benefits? Yeah. Okay, because we have listeners here. That say that they're mm -hmm. best friends, and I swear up and down that Furman has smashed Laura. <laughs> is there friend? Is, is, is can, can a man and woman just be friends? Come, come, come on up here, Laura and Furman. Here, Laura. Them two right there behind you. Can <laughs> a man and woman just be friends? Her and where's the other guy? Furman they is right can. here. But the gold. No, they can't be friends. Go ahead now, man. He gonna try to smash, man. Yeah, come man. on. Let me tell you something. I had a woman who was my friend, uh -huh. and I lived with her, and nothing ever happened. But if you saw her, it would all explain itself. <laughs> like, like she was just good for the rent. Everything, everything basically explains itself for the most part. Right. Like I say, every once in a while, you'll see one of them situations where you be like, I can't figure that one out. Yeah, but that one you like, man, he ain't touching that. Man, and, and you know what? She was a really good person, and she never came at me because I act like I had a girlfriend. <laughs> You say you act like? Yeah, I didn't never want nothing to happen where she would come at me because I knew she was lonely. I lived with her. I right, see right. her all the time. <laughs> so I had like this little rent -a girlfriend. You oh, know what I mean? Man. You're known for keeping it real and putting women in their place. I try. Is Instagram a lie to the fellas out here? Well, I know by working on a couple of movie sets and TV show sets, they have some amazing makeup. makeup. Yeah, man. Like you literally spray paint a face where you can't really tell how someone looks till they get out the shower or when they wake up in the morning. Really? That's don't. when you find out how somebody really looks. Yeah, man. Not like I care anyway, because I'm not going to stick around. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how you look. Hey, man, there's one thing that that I don't know how to bring this up, man. But. It's, it's kind of like a... a, a, a 
the type of thing when you see a guy out with a girl and she's not attractive, it's like all the real players know what's up. Right, right. She kicking like, in. Right. Oh right. yeah, she's looking out. Yeah. <laughs> she working the airline. She yeah. got she got buddy passes or something. You know? yeah, or her dome game is ridiculous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's real, yeah, right? Yeah, man. Her dome. Oh, you gotta understand. You gotta I got understand. an elderly um lady friend like that. <laughs> how old is she? She old, man. Like how old? I ain't got no business going over there. Is she over fifty? Yes, sir. Is she over, she's not over what 60. What is elderly age? What is the, what is the age where She's not 70. 80. <laughs> Corey, you playing, right? Hey, she's happy with me. I'm happy with her. <laughs> she not, you not having mess. You're not touching no lady that's like in her 70s or anything. Is 70 too old? Yeah, I never, but no, nah, not too old, but I'm just asking you. I never asked her age, uh, oh. but I know she's elderly because sometimes when she say my name, she say, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> so I really don't know her uh, age. Right, uh, but do you think she over 60? She blowing out 60 candles? All I'm saying is when I leave, <laughs> she be like, I'll see you later, Corey. <laughs> How do you guys get around the Instagram cheat? Well, I, I, I feel like Instagram is easier to get caught on. Right. Uh, Twitter is the best place to cheat because they got the DM box. Yeah, uh. a different DM. Yeah, and you can um, send people um, hope right through your text. So, so, but, so go ahead. but how do I catch him? How do you catch your man? Yeah, if he's cheating on like Twitter. Well, do you have access to his codes and stuff? No, like that? I guess I need that. That's first. a real player no. right there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so should women and men be concerned if they don't have their significant other's passcode? I mean, like, it's kind of, it's it's really thirsty to try to get somebody else's passcode. When I see guys on their um, Instagram and Twitter and they got a picture with, you know, him and his girl on there, I right. know she run things because that's right. not what he wanted. <laughs> right, right, When right. Dr. Phil walks off his show and he has to grab his wife's hand and Every walk off, show. I know she run things. Yeah, man. Because he didn't want that. Every show. That's why you have to act crazy with your woman from day one. Now, so how, after how while, do we do this? I'm just saying, like, it's like I used to do this thing where I used to um, call my girl the B word. Oh, wow. And, you know, it was really, it, she didn't like that at first. But oh, at if you, first. If you stick with it. Right. Eventually they'd be like, all right. 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 I hate when girls say, I'm not about money. That make me spend money on you. Right, right, right. right. Like, and, just to prove it wrong. Right. And then they always say, you did that because you my friend. I'm right. like, that make you feel better, huh? Man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and when you think about money, I don't want to yeah. play people out, man, but, but just look at some of the celebrity relationships. Yeah. You know what I'm mm. saying? Money and power. I'm not going to say anything. You know if, what I'm if you do it without money, you have to put so much effort into that person that you actually are frustrated with them when you finally get with them. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but if you got money, if you can find a way to give them money, then it's quick. How do you pass yeah. that friend zone? Like, uh, if you're friends with the girl, how do you just pass that in? Like, ask, er ask Furman over here. Yeah, he tell her just he's knocking her off. Once a girl call you her friend, buddy, you need a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to be out here trying to cheat, you owe it to the person you love to have another phone. They're not expensive. <laughs> right, right. You owe it to them. <laughs> why, would, why would you gamble losing the person that you care about? When you could just get another phone. Another phone is and what? And what do we do with that other phone? Do we, does that come in the house or is that a glove compartment Don't phone? bring it in the house. Okay. You're going to forget Never? about that ringer or something one day. Always have a gym bag or a satchel on your motorcycle. Satchel. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, you know, a little, a little spot in the bushes. You put it in a potato chip wrapper in case it rains. You, you have to have another phone. I heard why that, would man. I, why would I risk losing my girl? The one you her? love. Yeah, because, like, when they catch you with that other stuff, they, they're so upset. You right. Know, just have it on another How phone. How do you get your girl back after she catches you? Um, the the puppy dog face. That's the oh, only thing okay. you got going for you. The puppy dog. But if, if she's not really into you, she's going to leave. Right, 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 Tiger right, right. Woods. Yeah, man. <laughs> what do you feel about Bill Cosby, man? Um, you know, it's it's a sensitive subject. Everybody get mad about it, but I I, I just feel like you know, back in the day, from what I understand, right, it was common. It's just he's caught. Right, 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 right. Like the Quaalude game. Yeah, and the, it was common. Right. It was a common thing that people did. So, you know. So then we look at it, you saying 25, 30, 40 years later, and we're like, I can't believe it. Right. They're like, oh, you're terrible. <laughs> Do you know Bill Cosby? No, I've never met Bill Cosby. I heard that. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I heard he's actually a funny guy. See, I've, I've never watched none of his stuff from back in the day either. Really, though? No. <laughs>
Ain't that crazy? <laughs> Bill Cosby. I've never. I've watched. I've watched a lot of Red Fox. And, right, right. And, and, and Don Rickles. Right, but Bill Cosby. I've never watched Bill Cosby. <laughs> set. And what happened one day when he said something about using profanity when he was talking to Richard Pryor and, and, uh, and, and Eddie and Murphy? Eddie, yeah. yeah, you was done then. It turned me off because you know what I'm saying. I know that's hypocritical. Right. Especially now it's out. He was yeah. on the Quaalude game. He was like, don't curse in front of people, but put them to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> don't curse and say the flim, flam, filth. Right. You but know what knock I mean? them out. That, that's really what it was with me. That's why I never could listen to Bill Cosby, because when I see him, I used to be like, uh, right. he's one of those guys. Right. And then fast forward, here we are. Did you say something about how happy you are you found an abortion clinic that has a pool table in it yeah man i mean like i don't know what they think you're in there for hours sometimes so they just want you to sit down and watch tv all day it gets boring right this one they 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 also added um ipads in there right so you can wait on your girl you know it's already quiet when you drive her home what that drive home afterwards is silent i can't do this man you're sitting there moving you you know they don't want to hit a radio after that right right that's how they they got there listening to that radio oh, music. Yeah, every, every song is a is a song that reminds them of right, something. Right, you drive it over, don't feel too sexy right. now. Oh. <laughs> is there a superior sex? Are men more superior than women? I mean, Who's like it, this may sound chauvinistic, but we no, we, not coming from you. What? We are over women. We let me tell you something. The oh, toughest God. person is always in charge. Really though. The toughest person is always in charge. But what it is, uh, a lot of times when you are a gentleman, you want to make the woman around you happy. Right. So eventually she can be in charge because you want her to be happy because it's difficult to be around her when she's upset all the time. Go ahead now. So that's why you let a lot of things go and you wind up, you know what I'm saying, be like, hey, whatever you want to watch. Right, you know right, right, I mean? right, 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 right. <laughs> because you don't want the drama that come with it. So that's why when you had the girls on the side, you can relive your fantasy of being the man again. Go ahead now. Because your side girl, you be like, yeah, you ain't eating no popcorn. Right. Do you, suggest, <laughs> over right. do you suggest every man have a side girl? Yes. <laughs> there you go, bro. Got I it. think it's unrealistic yeah. right. to just be with one lady unless you are elderly. Right, right. Now, do, do, do you allow your lady to have... A side guy? That's insane. Right, okay. <laughs> That's an abomination. Right, okay. All right. That's a... <laughs> I think that your woman runs your household, and this is the way that you come out and make it seem <laughs> like she doesn't. But you know what, big boy? I'm gone all the time. I'm, in, I'm, I'm home. I come back every week from right. being on the road. I'm home Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So be, when I get there on Monday and before I go in that house, I'm... And then, you know right, right. I get through, then normally Thursday I'm flying out. Go ahead now. So the weekends I'm normally by myself, alone. Really? By yourself, alone? Yeah, Hello. it's a great feeling. Are you on Instagram? Is that you? I have Instagram, but right. I mainly deal with my Twitter. Really, though? Yeah. Why Twitter? Um, Because you get to type crazy stuff. Right. And I love the reactions I get from people that get offended. What are some of the stranger. things that you have put on Twitter? If I like to mess with... um. Insecure women. Right, okay. Because secure That's women, good to mess with they laugh. Women. Yeah, you know what I mean? I even do, I, listen, I do gay jokes. Right, okay. Because I feel like I should be able to crack jokes right. about this. It's, you can't shut the game down where you can't crack jokes about something anymore. We got so many things that we can't say anymore. I get it, man. And, you know, I know I risk getting in trouble a lot right, right. With, with with this um, so-called society. Right, right. But I stand behind a lot of stuff I say. I've gone too far sometimes where I'm like, ooh, I shouldn't have went there. Like but what? I don't even remember the ones where oh, okay. I feel like that. I, I think I did a joke one day about a, a Down syndrome joke or something like that. Oh, Lord have mercy. And, you know, it was funny, though. It was funny, but... Right, right, just not in, in public laughing. I felt bad afterwards, because it, it, it were people coming back, you know, my brother has Down syndrome and all that. And I'm... <laughs> What's your piece of shit? <laughs> right. If no. you got a traditional relationship, don't listen to me. Just obey and be happy. Okay, all right. That's what I'm going to do. Do we need to have uh, any kind of security escort you out? Or do you think you're going to be all right walking no, out No, I'll there? be all right. I'm okay. on my motorcycle out here. Now, it's hard to catch me. Do you ever get a woman that come up to you and either they say they love oh you or gosh, do you have a woman that you. say, man, I, I hate what you said up there? That's happened to me one day when I was walking with my daughter. Oh. This girl walked up to me and she said, all that stuff you say, it's going to happen to her. Wow. <laughs> oh. Damn. How old is your daughter? Probably about 12 at the time. Right. It was funny to me, though, because right. I don't know her. Right, right. I don't even know you. Who are you? you know how, old is, how old is your daughter now? 
Oh, she's um 21. How, Graduated how did, from college. How Woo. did you prep her for all the nonsense that's out there? Um, Always did the opposite of what her mother did. Like? Because her mother is the knucklehead. Right. Oh, okay. And you're the same. I'm, I'm, I'm the winner. Go ahead now. Hello. You know, I'm, I'm the guy. I'm out here doing things. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, how many kids do you have, Corey? Um, two and a possible. Ooh, yeah. two and a possible. Two and so, a possible. I'm pretty sure I got an older, an older kid out there I never met before. But oh. she was married. The lady was married. Oh, it was, it was man. my manager at Kentucky Fried Chicken. Are you serious? Oh. Yeah. What? I smashed my manager. You know, Are after you we got serious? to cleaning up one night. <laughs> oh, no. I was back there with my shirt off all when greasy. I was all in shape. Yeah. <laughs> it went down. Hey, man, right next to the fryer, Where's my man? baby, Vicky? Hey, man, <laughs> do you really think you have an older son? I'm pretty sure that's my kid. Really, though? I just, I, I never chased it down because um, I always worry about the liability because he wasn't around me. He mm. didn't get my influence. So what if he a, a crackhead? Right, 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 right. Does right, he right. look like you? Wow. I don't need to open that Have box. you seen him? No, I haven't seen him. Oh, okay. And I know how to track the girl now. And that's her real name? That her name is Vicky. Seen? Are you see Vicky from Kentucky Fried Chicken? Vicky from Kentucky Fried hey, Chicken. It's been too many years, Vicky. Let's talk about this. <laughs> yeah, man. And you smashed her in the restaurant? No, no, no. We... uh. Okay, well, I don't care. Okay. We went to her house. <laughs> oh, her man. husband was out of town. I'm pretty sure she's not with him anymore. Right, go if ahead he, now. If he's still with her, he's in a wheelchair. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's got the elderly stuff going on. And then she went from there to Popeye's. You know right. What I mean? Now, Vicky, Vicky was, Vicky was she, you know, she was a really attractive woman. And, you know, when you, a little young broke dude working at Kentucky Fried Chicken, and you, your manager yeah, was hell like, yeah. come on home with me. She give you I a raise like, after that? No, I didn't get a raise. Nah. I got fired because I never rung stuff up. I, oh, used to, yeah. I used to work at the cash register. I was like, ten fifty. Thank you. Come see us again. <laughs> we all got this thing, Corey. Of, can I say that? We all have like a mental editor, especially now. I don't think you have the same mental editor. I like being able to speak my mind. Yeah, and saying what I saying what I feel to say because I don't think I'm a bad person, right. but I know how much. The truth can get you in trouble in this day and time. Yeah. Do you trip off of the cancel culture? Because you seem like you can't be canceled. Well, I, I believe one day they're going to tax me somehow. Right, They're right. going to figure out a way to make me <laughs> shut up. Right. But, but until, until then. then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not married, right? Technically, yes. I'm oh, okay. still married. Um, and even though I care about my wife, I could never be with her again. Explain. Because I, I just got too much going on now. You know, when she left... It just opened the door to a whole lot of things. <laughs> and I would never shut down my life. You ask me about a relationship, I would say I have a person that I actually believe in. Really? A girl that I, I don't even know where she came from. Sometimes I ask God, how did I find somebody like this? Somebody who accepts me for me, mm -hmm. which is something that I, it's rare that you really find a girl now that'll you be say like. your wife left? Yeah, she left. She had enough of that shit. <laughs> She had enough. I, I ain't even mad at her no more. How long were y'all married? Uh, I don't know. Right? I just got That's married. Why. I'm like the average guy, man. We just one day we'd be like, all right, don't leave. I'm right. married. Right. Oh man. That's what happens to all most of right. us. We don't get married because we be like, you know what? I got to marry you. We get married because we be like, I put too much work into it just to let her go. In my opinion, now, I don't mean this disrespectfully. I just don't believe there's a lot of mentally stable women in this world. Right. Oh I think Lord, that I mean. men. Unfacts. <laughs> right. I, I think that men have issues as well. But I don't meet many women that are mentally stable. Most of the time when I don't do what they want me to do, they get me. Right. <laughs> right. I'll be like, why'd you do me like that? And I know it was because I wouldn't give in. Right. And when I say give in, I mean let the other girls go. Right, but they right, mess right. with me. Because I mess with girls in poverty, and they need me. <laughs> Big boy, they, they, can't be who, they can't be who they want to be. Yeah. To the rescue. I, I have those, the, like, $200 to some people, it ain't nothing. But the girls I mess with, they be crying when I right. give $200. Oh, so you know which ones to mess with. Martin Luther King Drive women all over, <laughs> right. the, all over the country. Wherever there's one at. Every city I go to, I'll be like, where's Martin Luther King? <laughs> That's that's where I find the women I deal with. Wow. But you just have different fees because you got the two hundred dollars of special women. Mm -hmm. Well, I've spent more than two hundred. Oh, okay. On average, it's about two hundred a pop with the girls. You know, with the purple hair and the baby shoulders. <laughs> 
I was like, you see the struggle in them. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. You see the struggle. The, the struggle is real. You see it in their eye. It ain't got to be explained. Can women spend the night at Corey Holcomb's house? No, you don't. You don't never wake up with strangers. That's part of the. That's part of the deal. Mm. I used to tell whoever the dude, whoever messes with my wife, will y'all please send her home? Right. That's what I do with your girl when wow. I'm doing with her. <laughs> Wow. Just send her home, man. Hey, man. You're messing up the neighborhood, destroying families. So you, you, you really don't wow. know how long you were married? No, I don't. A guesstimate? Uh, maybe about 13 years. Really? Well, I'm still technically married. Oh, okay. Why all not right. get divorced? Um, that's that's what women say all the time. Why no. not get divorced? It's really an expensive thing to do. <laughs> right, uh-huh. right. Yeah. It's an expensive thing to do. But see, it's still love on the table, but... Yeah. Man, I'm at the point where I, I, I'm comfortable with who I am. When she left, I really was like, this is better. Right. Because I'm never going to slow down. I'm never going to be with one girl. I'm never gonna, I'm never going to do that. Had and you I'm, ever been? Never. Oh, okay, there it is. All I right. ain't never been with one girl. And I admire guys who can do it. Hey, man, when yeah. do people know you're serious or when they think like, oh, Corey, man, he's a comedian. He's just clowning. People who got um, instincts. Right. Because yeah. I think you're serious a lot. You know I'm serious, big yeah. boy. You, you, <laughs> where you come from, you yeah. know. You yeah. know. I'm serious. And if you, this is the reason it works. Most people don't speak the truth about mm. who they are or nothing that's going on with them. Right. So what winds up happening is when somebody is around me, um, how I speak honestly about my flaws and my things I'm proud of, it rubs off on people. I think they, they want to become like me. But I never really get credit for that. The girls in poverty who are really not the type of women who should be expecting much out of a man, I know how to joke with them about it where even though they know I'm telling the truth, they be like, just give my 200 <laughs> 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 you know, That's something they can look forward to. <laughs> at the end of the day, they be like, oh, at least I'm getting 200 <laughs> I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up and get it over with, so I just get my <laughs> Finish your monologue. Right. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that it's harder for a woman to find a man now when we have all these dating apps? Like, what's the holdup? Man, in this world, we're not really people who have principles and uh, morality. So when you out here in this world now, just being honest. There's no telling what you're going to run into. Mm-hmm. I think the 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 second question after you ask somebody what's your name should be what medications are you on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nobody ever asks people, that's "Hey, what medications?" Are, yeah, that should be the second question. <laughs> okay. Cuz then when you find out later on, oh, this person is on this medication, it actually explains a lot of stuff that's going on right. with them. Right. Okay, so you could have just cut right to the chase. Huh. Not like, you know, what's your name? No, nah, this ain't where the, you live at. This ain't or the 60s, you, 70s, okay. 80s, right, right. even 90s. Right. This is a whole new world, man. Do you think that it's hard for a woman to find a date? I think it's hard for anybody to find a date. Really? Anybody. Like, the two ladies here, both of these ladies are attractive, but mm-hmm. it means nothing, really, because what men want is to be in a position where they're winning. And what women want a lot of times is to be in a position where they're winning. I don't think nobody is trying to merge and do right by each other. Being the side chick can last anywhere from two to 25 years. Right. You know how many kids I done watched grow up, big boy? Oh my I would God. go over girls' house. I'd be like, you driving now. Boy, you was like four when I first started. Hey, Amen. Have you ever, Corey, had a woman that really got mad at you? You ever been cut by a woman? You mean cut literally yeah. like? Yeah. A woman ever stabbed you? I'm not a little guy. Right, 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 right. It's hard for a girl to cut me. Right, right, right. right. I can get away. I can get, even though I got a little weight on me, I still move. Your getaway good. game is good. Yeah. Do but, women get mad at you though? Yes. Yeah. Especially when they realize I'm not going to be what they want me to be. Mm-hmm. I, I was with this girl and it hurt when she left because I liked her a lot. But when she realized I was not going to stop messing with the other uh three girls that were ahead of her. Mm, ahead on the of chart. her. Yeah. Yeah. She wasn't number one. She was number four. But I explained to her how blessed, how blessed she was to have that slot. Right, right. I actually got her a computer. That's top five. I was like, I don't buy people computers. Computers don't cost $200. That's true. I was about to say that. <laughs> and, when you know, when she really stopped messing with me, I knew. She realized I wasn't going to give me in because she was attractive and she knew I liked her. But I tell people all the time, it don't matter how good you look. I'm not going to bend these rules. 
I have a group of women that I feel like are on the team and yeah. they know about each other. Can the women that you're with be with other men? That will move them further down. They'll be uh. like at the <laughs> number 14 slot. Yeah, right. They don't want to give up. They don't want to give up the slot. Being being my number three, oh my two, gosh. or one is a good slot to be in. Right, right. right. It's rough like, out don't backslide. Here. Right. Especially if you come from nothing. Yeah. You done moved up. If you're in my top three, I look out for you. But if you mess with other guys, that don't make me mad. It just move you back down with mm. the girls who mess with guys crew. Is this all over the country? Nice. Uh, yeah. You're on the road pretty yeah. much every weekend. Yeah. So do you have females or ladies everywhere you go? No, I don't do it like I used okay. to. I'm so glad I made it through them years without getting hurt, mm -hmm. um, having strangers around you. I, I don't even, like, when I do my shows, I go to the back. I used to go out there and act like I'm saying hi to the fans, but I'm really looking at the girl. Yeah. But I don't even do that no more because it's the only danger out there right. for a guy like me. <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't know people could sue you and you didn't even do nothing. They could oh, just yeah. say you did something. Oh, yeah. and it costs Frivolous. money Hello. for you to to beat the case. Is comedy different now? With and, and not just on the social media side, but I'm talking about like even with Chris, you know, Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. People feel like now they could just get on stage. Dude jumps on stage with Dave Chappelle. Are are you more conscious of the environment of being on stage now? I'm just glad I'm not little. Right. I think, you know, people like big fish eat little fish in the ocean. Mm -hmm. I think that's what happens on stage sometimes. I don't have people run up on stage on me. I, it just doesn't happen to you me. And I'm not bragging. Too, I hope don't nobody. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I hope this that ain't don't a try no, no drama to me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This but ain't a try me. This ain't a I wish you would. It I, it's just, not. I'm just saying it doesn't happen to me. The people like when 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 Will Smith slapped Chris Rock, it all made sense. That's who he would slap. Mm. You know what I mean? Did that make you upset as a comedian? It made me not like Will Smith no more. Really? Like I can't even watch his movies no more. And I'm saying like the one movie. Where he was um, jumping out the building onto the next floor. I can't even think of the day, but it was one of my favorite movies. But now it's hard to watch him because I feel like, oh, well, you're a bully. Hmm. You you hit that man at a time when you really shouldn't have hit that man while he on stage at the Oscars. I don't feel like he said nothing vicious about Jada. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like uh, Will Smith is in a position where he walks the street with a woman he's ashamed of. And oh. that that's a dangerous thing. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. If you're not proud of the woman you with, you're not feeling like you're supposed to feel when you with her because they had that open relationship thing. I just ain't her type, and I know she don't need the 200, so I ain't right. got a shot. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so, so you can say what you got to say. Man, I ain't got a shot with her. Really? Have, do, you talk, or do you talk with Chris Rock, or have you had any words, like circle to circle? I haven't talked anyone? to him since that happened, but Chris Rock has always been one of the guys that walk up to me. What's up, Corey? Because like, ever since I moved to L.A., my mind get blown when people walk up to me, I remember Eddie Murphy was like, Corey Holcomb. I was right. like, wow. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, man. It blew my mind because, you know what I'm saying, I always thought he was one of the top-tier comedians, top-tier guys in the movies. His movies are funny. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So when I meet these people, I still, I'm blown away. If you're around somebody that takes away the good energy from you, you're not going to be yourself. Even if you're a good-spirited person, if you allow somebody with bad energy to be around you every day, you're, you're basically dying faster than you normally would die. Mm. I found that out when my wife left. Right. Don't mean I don't love my wife and care about her and wish her well, but I can't do that again. Mm -hmm. I would never go back to a situation where I'm in a, 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 I live with somebody who I feel like isn't happy all the time. Or it doesn't have that good energy all the time. I would never do that again. And with Dave Chappelle, when you saw that, like, damn near a couple or a few weeks later. That looked dude, like a hit. Really? That when you like saw it, yeah. Looked like that dude had been sent up there to do that. Mm. I mean, who does that? You know you're not going to win. Right, I know. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Did you see my man Army? Look like he was pop locking and all. Like, they they had my man. He he looked like one of them like Mr. Potato Heads or something where you could take the arm off and put it on backwards or something like Real that. Real talk. When I yeah. saw that, I was like, yo. <laughs> Does that change your comedy that weekend? Not change your material, but just let's say that weekend. Are you more on swivel or you don't even think about what just happened with Dave? Man, I have more like a cult following. Mm. People who like Corey Holcomb come see Corey <laughs> Holcomb. Every once in a while, you know, you might get some guy who 
might say something, but it's I just don't feel like there's nobody gonna run up on me. If you got slapped at the Oscars, that tuxedo would have looked like uh, the tuxedo the clubs had on at the end. Well, he was like, uh, uh, "Give me a minute, let me explain." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just tore and, up. And I know Will. I think Will a bad boy. Yeah, he is. Because I, I hear, you know, I, I know the the the, the cast that run with him. Them, them awesome bad boy. But you can't slap me. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. Yeah, you can't slap me. Yeah, Oscars be over, bro. But I wouldn't have, I, I don't think I would have froze. I think if he'd have came, I'd have been like, hey, what you want? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know this? Yeah. You got to give me this. Don't yeah, walk up on me. And that come from getting hit like that one day. One day I froze and I got hit because I froze. And ever since I got froze, ever since I froze, I never let nobody, when I feel like it's danger, I always do this. <laughs> Have you watched any of that uh, Johnny Depp, Amber Heard? The uh, I the saw the train where old girl looked like she did some cocaine. Right, right, right. And, <laughs> and that type of stuff make me mad because, you know what I'm saying? Like, how did she get away with that? Mm-hmm. Is that when they said she looked that? like she ripped, did a, did a rip? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like man, she ripped the line. did you see it? Yeah. Come on, man. It was obvious. I'm like, dang, she's bold enough to come to court with cocaine. That's a habit, bro. I don't know nobody who did that. And I know people, look, I had a homeboy, he beat Heron. Mm-hmm. And I ain't never heard nobody who beat Heron. <laughs> <laughs> but ain't nobody coming to court with it. Yeah. This, this lady came to court with cocaine. She On the stand. Cocaine. Corey, do you see yourself getting married? Not again, never. but get, never? Never. Damn, you need to be I'll never have a state-sanctioned relationship again. Really? The lady who I believe in, I mean, like, I'd do anything for her. And my words are not what um, prove that. What I do for her shows. Do you believe in marriage? Oh, shoot. Not in the United States. It's, it's I just, got married in the United States. I know, and I wish you well. I think you're doing well with yours, right? Yeah, I, I think I am. Praise God. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You can I, you, you? Oh, you're gonna be gone this weekend. You can't even come stay with us, huh? It's just I, observe. <laughs> <laughs> Take <laughs> notes. I gotta go hustle. <laughs> yeah. Well, big boy, like I've seen you out with your wife. It seems yeah. like things are okay. Yeah, it is. Praise God. You know what I'm saying? Hell and yeah, but things were so okay glad. for you at one point too, though, right? Never. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was always me giving in. Really though, because I ain't wanted to go because I. And put too much effort into it. <laughs> and that's why I would tell Will Smith, yes, yeah, she gonna take a lot of your money, but you better get away from that, dog. Because you ain't got no control. You can't have the homies over smashing your wife, man. Damn. That's just not cool. You know what I'm saying? People have different rules, but when your son friend over there, <laughs> he making songs about it, you, it yeah. went too far. You know, you on your current events for real, though, yeah. huh? Man, but it's out there. It's yeah. out there. You know, it, it, all this stuff is out here. It don't bother most of us because I ain't in the streets. Like when people tell me some bad news they heard about me, it don't bother me because I'm not in the streets. I go to work. <laughs> right. I come back. I don't see y'all. Right. I know you looking for the opportunity. Hey, Corey, I heard this. Right. I'd be like, well, you it probably did. Right. And they don't know what to say after that. When you agree with them, they be like, <laughs> I was trying to hurt him. You know what I'm saying? Man, you can't, you can't I mean, hurt I me. Man, I ain't even out here no more. Do you believe in love? Of course. Okay. Love is the reason people fight to stay alive. That's one of the feelings out here that um, is real satisfying. When you got somebody, you know what I'm saying? I, I tell my girl that I'm around now that I feel like is my friend. And uh, I don't use that word lightly, but mm-hmm. my girl is my friend. I'm like, man, I, you the reason I really had a drive to stay alive. Because mm-hmm. I'm getting older. I know what happens when people lose people when they get older. And the insurance company does too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I found a friend. And Do I you thank trust God. women? No, nah, I don't trust most women. I don't trust most I don't trust most men. Right, right. They was raised by their mama. Most of the guys oh I my know, Lord. Just... they ain't had no daddy around to teach them another side of the game. That's part of growing up. Man, I'm from Chicago, man. I call that the fatherless city. I don't Mm -hmm. know a lot of guys who grew up with a dad in the house. See, I told you. (laughs) And that means something, man, because you're growing up with the mentality of your mom. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't want to talk bad about their mom, nor should they. But what was your mom's relationship with your dad? It means something. A lot Mm -hmm. of people feel like, oh, dad, you wasn't around. I I don't even fuck with your mama like that. (laughs) I ain't around your mama. I don't know your mama. I smash. Do you have kids, Corey? I, I got two kids that I am pretty sure of mine. 
Because I ain't never had no DNA test, but, you know, I'm pretty sure they my kids. But then there's one boy out there who I used to mess with my manager at Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, no. When I was when I was a young boy, Please I, I was tell smashing me. When, the manager. When you was a young mustache, huh? Yeah, when I had just graduated from high school, I was smashing my manager at Kentucky Fried Chicken. She was married and everything. And her husband was out of town, and I went to her house. And you know what I'm saying? Things happened, and she had a boy. And, and you I, say it probably may be yours? I'm pretty sure that's my boy. When I saw him, I was like, that's my boy. It's a shame I don't know him, but he looked like something wrong with him. Oh, I ain't going like to. Like, he go to church every week and everything. I don't get along with them type of people. Right. <laughs> you don't do church? I mean, like, I, ever since I got older, and I'm, I'm like, yo, I didn't really think about this when I was young. <laughs> So let me get this right. <laughs> uh oh, oh man! You know my guy Jose over here, is super Christian. He gonna start uh, but praying it's for no you. No diss to anybody, cause my mama is super Christian, and she be like, "Boy, every time I do something wrong, I just put a couple of dollars in her pocket." She be like, "God gonna bless you, though." Baby. Right? <laughs> 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 Buying that sin away up. I just grew. Up, I just as I got older, things that didn't make sense to me, I get away from it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I believe there's a God, but I don't. I don't believe how it was taught to us. And that ain't no diss to nobody in there, uh, whatever they believe in, whatever keeps you going. Corey, have you ever said anything either on your show, our show, or just somewhere you're like, oh, man, I shouldn't have said that? If you run your mouth a lot, you're going to put your foot in your mouth a couple of times. Yeah. If you talk a lot, sometimes you're going to say something that you're going to be like, oh, I wish I wouldn't have said that. Yeah. That's why I don't like this society when they try to act like everything you say, oh, I'm going to hold you to this, hold yeah. you to this. Sometimes people be like, you know what, I didn't, I didn't say that the way I really meant it. Or sometimes it just came out of me, and I wish I wouldn't have said it. Yeah, Not we don't get a chance to make mistakes anymore. And, and also, well, man, good. what we felt five, ten years ago could be totally different from what we feel now, and they can pull that back up Ain't and, that crazy? and make you live right with it. We evolved, man. Yeah, just make sure you pick somebody who down with you. Yeah, and that's really the key, because somebody who down with you ain't gonna hang you if it go bad. You know who down with you. Everybody in here. If you uh, around somebody mm -hmm. that's down with you, you know it. That's the person that you have patience with and you gamble with. If they not down with you, don't mess with them. I was telling you about a song that you did that I really enjoyed, man. And, yeah. and I think that it's an anthem for a lot of people. Can you tell everybody the name of the song that we were talking about? Uh, I call it I Can't Sleep. It's All a right. song about um, having one of them girls that run the streets at night and party and right. do things like that. And you really don't want to break up with them, so you handle it all. And, you know, it, it was based off when I was with this girl who liked to go out and party. Mm -hmm. And I was like, so this is how this feel. Right. <laughs> and it's called I Can't Sleep. <laughs> I Can't Sleep. Is that what is that? Because uh, I, I call it a different title. What do you think I call that song? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Y'all well, hear well, the what I say, my man. bitch runs the streets at night. Hey man, what made you hold on to the notes like that? <laughs> it came to me, man. It's like, yo. They wrote itself. I'll be writing these songs, man. I really, I really think I can take my comedy and turn it into songs. Are you just making this up as you go? No, no, we we um we scripted all of it. All right, yeah. <laughs> it's their fault, everybody. If I did something, right. hold um, on, man. What does technically I'm still married I'm, mean? I'm man? technically still married. What does man, that let mean? Let me tell you something, man. I love my wife. Right. I I grabbed my wife while we were still young, and to this day, I got my wife back. You know what I'm saying? Things I say, family members of hers hear. And they run and tell her because you know the family is miserable. They jealous. Right, right, mm. right. The family is the family is jealous in a lot of situations, especially with somebody like me, because my my the money I earn, my wife can still get what I earn, not because she found a way to use the system against me, because if she needs me. That's who I marry. I'm going to take care of her. Right. Do y'all live together? No. Oh, okay. That, that's no. Uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> How long have y'all been in separate households? God. <laughs> it's, it's, look, man, it's been a while. But, but y'all not divorced? No. Why not divorced? I don't know, man. It's not it's easy just, it's as cool the way it is. Huh? Have you ever been divorced? No, nah, I never have. Let me tell you something about this divorce game. Because mm -hmm. you don't know 
what a marriage certificate is and all that stuff like that. You really don't know what you're getting into. We are brainwashed into thinking when you find somebody you love, you're supposed to go down there to the courthouse and let them unite you. But mm -hmm. it's the worst thing that can happen because if you use their contract, their marriage certificate, you're in a bind. If you find someone you love and you do the research on what a marriage certificate brings, you I don't think you'll do it. What you can do, I would tell anybody who's, who's who found someone they love and they want to be with, y'all can on, make, Louis, listen to this. Uh -huh. Y'all can make your own contract to protect each other. Like if we if we don't make it, I'm willing to do this for you. I'm willing to do that for you if we don't make it. You know what I'm saying? But what's in a marriage contract? is nonsense, and it only splits the families up. There's not as many family reunions as it used to be because most of the time, if you don't make it with the person that you marry, y'all wind up in court as defendant and the other thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's, it's chaos if you don't make it. But if you really care about each other, why not come up with a contract that you can get signed, sealed, and delivered that makes it where everybody is not in chaos if we don't make it? My wife knows who I am. I'm crazy and everything, but I got her back when it really boiled down to it. And when you say got her back, what does that mean? I mean, like, if she jammed up, mm -hmm. I'm the one to call because right. I'm going to find a way to fix it. Right. I, I'm not, I'm not, even, even though we might not be together like that, I still got you. Right. And that's just how it go. And you know what? I'm fortunate enough where if I'm around somebody that I hold up, they understand what I'm saying. I got married, so that means something to me, mm -hmm. but not in the traditional way. I'm in love with a lot of people. Well, mm. Is that is that wrong? You you can't love more than one person. I guess not. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm I, talking about like okay. So is there one love? You supposed to you, one you, love. You only supposed to love one person, <laughs> yeah, huh? Yeah. Like you might have a girl that does this real good. You could be in love, and uh, what about I have love for? No, that's that's okay. fake. <laughs> I got love for if somebody say I got love for you, right. that means they don't want to argue. Right, you could be in love with multiple women, and one, a woman could be in love with multiple men. There are people I have ran into in my journey that have helped me, and they have shown me they got my back, and I love them. Not only for what they did to me, they've grown close to my heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about strictly female, strictly ladies. Yeah, strictly Somebody lady. calling you now, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, are y'all airing this live? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> He's like, man. Uh, he was like, man, let me go to my sale real quick. <laughs> Head off with right. this, off with this <laughs> 200. Like, man. Boy, 200 he, fix a lot in this hard time. Like, yeah. But no, it's like, why, do, why are we afraid to tell the world that you can love more than one person? It's like it's taboo. You don't think you can love more than one person? I mean, big boy, you, you give an interview. You in love with more than one, like in deep, like in love. Yes. Well, you know, you my know. wife hate when you come and do the show. <laughs> oh, that's, no, just, no, no, no. no, no, you, no, no. There's some truth to that. No, no, not at all. They oh, ain't really? No, no, there ain't no truth to it at all. Okay. Trust that. No. Well, well I'm just saying. See, but my wife do think you crazy, and my wife really enjoys you, though. I think some people who, who, who can handle the truth. Yeah. Because sometimes the truth is actually shocking in this day and time. <laughs> Do you think that more people get upset with you at your show because of their woman is upset with you? Definitely. Mm. Definitely. It's some guys like, man, we have a protection mode inside of mm -hmm. us. And if your woman is upset, sometimes you can feel like, hey, man, you destroying my atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but I tell a guy, like I've said on stage, hey, man, talk to your girl and calm her down. Because sometimes I've had girls yell out stuff, even though I'm being nice. What I say in real life, hey man, check your bitch. Right. You know <laughs> <laughs> I say that on stage a lot of times when some girls get mad. You know what I'm saying? But don't girls, they know they're coming to a Corey Holcomb show? Yeah, for real. Well, everybody, there are people just there are people who want to outdo the comedian, but I'm built for this. Mm -hmm. I'm ready, big boy. I'm really that guy in the game. I'm mm -hmm. that guy. I'm, I'm I'm bold enough to say that. If you come to my shows and you watch what I do, you're gonna see a difference in me. Versus your favorite comedian. And that's bold to say, hey, but it's the truth. And I think when you say, hey, man, tell your girl to calm down, you even took something out to do. <laughs> yeah, because I let him know you out here in the streets with this girl you ain't got no control over because she talking over you and you've been telling her to be quiet for five minutes. You know what I'm saying? If you I ever was, had anyone walk out? Of course. Oh, yeah, I yeah. done had couples fighting in the parking lot. 
I'm not going to take you to McDonald's. I want you to see how well I live and eat right. and give you something to strive for. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to yeah. be up here with me? You want to <laughs> do stuff like that? <laughs> well, do what you're supposed to do there, God damn it. Right. People like Tyler Perry. Right, they're right. heavy in the game. Mm-hmm. But they have they see what I do. And they I appreciate how they go out their way, take a chance on me, and give me, give me a shot. Because I'm not going to do nothing to try and mess up nothing like I use Tyler Perry as an example. What he's doing, most of the time when I'm on set, directors always tell me, where have you been? Right. You know what I'm saying? Do you think Hollywood's afraid of you? I can't say Hollywood's afraid of me, but I think Hollywood thinks I would derail the minds of the people they've programmed to go the way the rail is, is heading. And you know what? I don't think that that's your whole thing where you want to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Like... You say a part of Hollywood? Yeah, or, yeah, just that whole thing. Like, man, I gotta have it. I got, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's some people that just drop everything. I want everything some big money. I know. <laughs> I'll take some big money, but there are principles I simply cannot set aside to succeed in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Like the show I did, Black Jesus. Yeah, they had I the love episode. You on Black Jesus, bro. Well, they had the episode with the dress, and I was so scared. I was like, oh, well, this is my last episode. Right, right. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm done. I'm not going to put the dress on. But the director had enough respect for me where he switched it up. And I was, I was like, man, that's so big of you to do that because I know how it goes. So, what was the actual episode? Well, because was, I don't remember the dress. Right. You don't remember me in the dress, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to remember me in no dress either. Damn. Well, don't look was, at a movie called Deuce Bigelow, Mel Gigolo either. Cause what happened? You may find me in a dress. You know? Oh, yeah, man. man. Yeah, Big man. Boy, well, I, look, check this out. That was that was a while ago. Yeah, yeah. So I it never would do that. actually be funny to see you in a dress, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, back then. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's when I was over 500 pounds. Right. Yeah, right. man. But, yeah, I remember I was watching something, and it was like, man, why does every black comedian or somebody that's funny got to put on a dress? Then they start putting up like Martin, and I was like, ah, damn. It, it's part of the game. It's right. part of the initiation in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, I, I, I'm I, before I got to know these people because I know people who get down like that. Mm-hmm. I was all like, "Oh man, you are whatever, whatever." But you know what I'm saying? When when you hit with that reality and you used to, and this is the way you 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 feed your family, I don't look at it as bad as I looked at it before right. because this uh-huh. goes back to the people who are trying to cancel Kyrie. Mm-hmm. If you ask me, this goes back to the people. They they know what they're doing. And they put us in situations. You know, we feed our families with this. Mm-hmm. You know, those people at ESPN. And even back then when I did, I didn't even have family. So You didn't have family why, why back then? Why was I putting on a dress? And I was, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah, especially for Deuce Bigelow. Yeah. You don't know them people. Yeah, you're like, Big, uh, <laughs> anything you want to tell your listeners? Well, can I ask you something for real? Please do. At that time, you was at a different mind state. Yeah, yeah. 100%. It can happen, man. Yeah, we we and none of us perfect, man. We can all do something that we look back on later in life and be like, you know what? I don't yeah, think I'll do that again. Never again. I don't like Hey, man, that. let me ask you this. Have you ever did like a, a show or did a radio thing or where you just start getting like hot because you're nervous of what you just said? I guess that could happen. Okay, I mean, yeah, because like, it happens to me when you come here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I talk some of the stuff you're thinking, so you bring me in so, to say it. That's what I think. I could be wrong, big boy. Nah, you know what, bro? I, I would have to say you are. I'm wrong? <laughs> I'm just saying you are. <laughs> I, no, I got a homeboy. He a drag queen. Uh-huh. And I, I I don't condemn him for being a drag queen because he, he, he works in a place. Well, he works at the airline. And sometimes I need his hookups. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wouldn't even talk to him otherwise. But I'd be like, hey, man, how you been? Like, how you going to blow I'm your own? I'm all right, Corey. I was like, yeah. Um, I need you to switch this flight up. Right? <laughs> how many guys you know have the courage to, to tell the world I've never been monogamous? It's just not a lot of guys who had the courage to say, I've never been with just one woman. Mm-hmm. But most of the guys I know are not with just one woman. And if they are, yeah. is the cheating coming? Is it cheating because you got more than one woman? Let me ask you something, big right. boy. Is it if cheating you said, if you have more than one man? If you got more than one man, you belong to the game. So if you have more than one woman, do you belong to the game? Not if I'm holding the players everything game down. Up. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Listen, if I got a whole bunch of money and a whole bunch of resources, I shouldn't have to lie about the women that I'm dealing with. Let's take the money out of the game because I know if you take the money out of the game, I know game, a lot you... of guys that don't have the money mm-hmm. and they still like they they the most pimp player hustlers that I know. No, you don't. Yeah, you might know pimps 
or somebody who out here on the manipulation side of the game. Oh, but I'm gotcha, saying gotcha, like gotcha. to be straight up and actually go on vacation where it's you and your two women and the family that you want to have. Mm-hmm. That ain't easy to do. I don't want to live a situation where I'm lying every day. Mm-hmm. It, it it bothers me. When I was younger, I could do it, but now that I'm older. Mm-hmm. I can't look at somebody who I actually love and care about and lie to them all the time about who I am. It's the sneaking and the hiding that that, ca- that causes a lot of the problems. If you're bold enough to tell somebody who you are and they're still around you, then they can't be looking at you like you foul. I've told you who I am and you're still around me. And you know what I'm saying? Don't act like I'm, I would never do you wrong, but I'm going to do what I do. Mm. Because I don't think I can stop it. You don't mind a girl not loving you for who you are. I'm not here for that. <laughs> <laughs> Love, what is that? That's Nine. temporary most of the time. Most marriages in the United States are doomed because at our way of life in the United States is we lie. Mm-hmm. That's what we do. We lie. Christ, And man. when you get older and you really believe in yourself, Bro, you, can't, you can't keep doing that. It I, is I, so good to have you in here on your last appearance, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No, like, it ain't, dog, because yeah. the game don't stop. Yeah, it is so. When y'all get up with me, big boy, I'll be like, As yeah, Howard Stern would say, yeah, you said it all. Yeah. You don't have, like, your own social media? They'll take it from me. If you speak this way, they'll take it from you. They don't want you derailing the people. Social have media is for girls to th- be half naked with their makeup on mm. and their filters or fools acting like they doing more than they got. You know right. what I'm saying? So have you had accounts that's just been turned off? My Twitter, they took it. Oh, so you, um, the Twitter people. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> and I, it was some girl said something slick to me, and you know I'm clever. I had a good comeback, and then they said, "Oh, you ain't supposed to talk to her like that." Like and ever since line. then, I was like, "Oh, I can't do this." I'm that voice that you need to hear. Yeah, I can derail the way the average mind in America is set on the rail to. To, you know, to travel. Right. The train is on the rail system, so it go that way. I could derail that if you listen to what I got to say. Yeah, and you uh, have many a times with us, too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> read the comments. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> we can't hide what we see forever. We have to talk about what we see. What we what we see means something. Right. If, you, if you're too afraid to always say what you see, I mean, what kind of world is this? How do you feel about the cap they're trying to put on comedy? And we've seen this for years now, bro. <clears throat> I don't know nothing about it. Okay, I know you don't. I can I tell. I mean, I ain't in the game. And uh, when I say the game, I mean like the Hollywood game. Right. But it's not just because I say what I want to say. I haven't been chasing it. I don't know if I could survive. I done booked a television show, and I can't really express myself because I might get kicked off the show for telling the truth. Right, right, right. That's I, hard. But you know what? I think you would get kicked off the show. I believe I yeah, would, too. There's times I wanted to put you out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchin. Now, they just got their divorce, uh-huh. and now they say that she was in, was it Costa Rica? Mm-hmm. She, was in, she was in Costa Rica, Costa Rica with the kids' jujitsu trainer. <laughs> you know? But so. that's, the, that's, that's like how it really goes. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, all these guys that they hold up on a pedestal, man, they going through it just like the rest of us, man. He married a girl that's in the game. Right. right. She, she, was a, she was a model, wasn't right, she? Right, right. Oh, man, you think that hype they give him is the greatest of all time, work at home? Right. When you at home, you just the dude, Tom Brady. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And you that just ain't husband. nothing, obviously. Yeah. She gone. And my thing was, man, I'm like, man, it's the funny jiu-jitsu to me. trainer, <laughs> like I can't even whoop on him. You know what I'm saying? Can you imagine thinking that you're in the right, and then you get choked out in front of your kids at the same time trying that, to defend ooh. your your household? It ain't gonna be no get off of her. Yeah, you wait till he through and try to figure out what happened. <laughs> you don't want to find out what your wife doing while you on the road and everything. Just, oh just no, Just come home man. and get what's left. <laughs> just come home and tell her to clean it up <laughs> give her man. at least an hour window before you come in the house yeah, man. you don't want to know because something going on right you rich guys you don't know how to pick a wife anyway right. you know what I'm saying you pick the girl that's attractive instead of the girl that's about something so all you rich guys Tom Brady listen to this yes 
Don't check on your wife. You don't want to know what's happening while you spiking touchdowns. Hey, man, now, you're on the road a Somebody lot, too. Somebody touching down and up. Go ahead. <laughs> do, you, do you get concerned when you're on the road? Nah. Could it happen to you? Nah. Oh. Nah. I'm nah. different. All right. Why? <laughs> why? I'm, I'm, and why are you different? I know. So? I know who I got around me. Right. I, I, I mean, I know that sounds kind of boastful, but uh, I know who's around me. Right. I mean, like the girls that I get who get down behind my back, I know who they are, and I don't think it's fair that they get mad at me that I don't move them up in the game. I'd be like, come on, <laughs> right. now you think are I'm these stupid? the two hundred dollar girls that you're talking about? <laughs> these are them girls you call their phone and don't answer. When I call your phone and you don't answer, you just step backwards in my life. Really though, you can't not answer the phone if I call. (laughs) (laughs) What? This girl told me she ain't got no money, right? So I gave her some money and she went grocery shopping and said, "I'm gonna cook for you." She invited me over. Do you know she made her son play first? Oh really? I was like, "How dare she?" What is wrong with you? You said she made her son's (laughs) plate first, and you had a problem with that. (laughs) What? So she didn't follow the Corey Holcomb pecking order. Hey, man, look. So if you buy the food, no way in the world she should feed her child first. The little boy didn't even want to come to the table. He was playing the game, and then when she forced him to eat something, he ate a little bit and just left it right there like it wasn't nothing. And I'm sitting there like, you I paid took for care of that boy. <laughs> Your son. Who daddy in jail. Right. That boy ain't going to be right. about nothing. I'm the light. <laughs> right. <laughs> What is wrong with you, woman? And you should eat first. Right. That's why she needs the $200, because right. she don't know how to act around right. somebody like me. <laughs> Most of the women that I, I run into are in situations where, you know, principles aren't the first thing that they're going to come with. In fact, they don't even really work on principles. They're at survival level. When you're at a survival level, you know what I'm saying? You'll compromise yourself and do things. These girls that I give $200 to don't really want me. Right. <laughs> but they need the $200. <laughs> what? This is, listen, man. At least you came to the realization. Right. Of that. The, 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 I'll be with girls that are actually beautiful. You right. know what I'm saying? I mean, they right. might have the blue hair and the tattoos on their neck, right. but they're right. beautiful. Go you know now. what I'm saying? I, I don't expect us to make it. I expect as long as you are in a struggle situation, right. I am a major player in your life. I heard that. <laughs> so I go. up until she get on her feet, you'll like, be there. Man, listen, man. I've always said this, man. A woman who can take care of herself, I probably don't got a shot at. You know what I'm saying? But why deal with women who found a way? I look for the ones <laughs> who are still <laughs> lost at <in> sea. <laughs> As men, do we want to know our woman's body count? Most men can't handle yeah. their woman's true body count, mm. especially if she in poverty. Right, right. I'm just saying, I don't really care about your body count. I trust that God will lead me into the right situation where I won't come out of it sick. When you older, I don't care about a girl's body count. All I care is if she can be quiet when I'm around her. Like, a girl who talks a lot, that's like, oh, my God. She really thinks I care about her son's Little League game or something <laughs> right. like that. It's, it's awkward, and I just have to be quiet until I get what I came for. And after I get what I came for, I'm then like, you will go. you shut the hell up? I'm trying to get dressed and get in my car. I'll go over a girl house. I feel like if it's drama or something like that, I'll just leave. I got another one in this neighborhood. <laughs> The batteries in her remote wasn't working. I I just felt like it was too much. I had to go. <laughs> right, yeah. But not go pick up a, a set of double A's. <laughs> right. You left. Wow. <laughs> right. right. No, she wanted me to go to the store and get some. Right. Was, hey, hey, hey. You're like, if I get in the car, I'm leaving. Lisa is three blocks away. <laughs> right. Now, there was a tweet that went out. It said a man shouldn't have to wash dishes or clothes if he has a woman. What depends on it. That's definitely all who the man is. Mm-hmm. Some guys need to be washing dishes because they ain't on nothing. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying if you a boss and you providing, that's that 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 take you away from what you do to come up with what you need to provide for the family. Mm-hmm. You need somebody at the house doing that if right. you a boss. But now if you're not a boss, man, you need to go in there and wash them dishes. Right. What about if you're washing dishes and you're thinking about the next plan? You can't think about the next plan <laughs> washing dishes. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You either gotta be you gotta be about it. Or watch the dish. Really? That's just real talk. When you're in the streets with your woman, y'all in danger. 
If you don't know that, I'm telling you not. Right. The streets are crazy. These people out here mixing the Zannies and the Perks together. Mm -hmm. It's wild out here. So y'all need to be ready for what can come and what probably will come. And one of the ways of being ready is you got to listen to your man. So if he tells you, look, babe, let's go to the car. I don't want to hear that. No, she better shut up talking to me and all like that. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, okay, I got you. You got to be like, yo, I said let's go. And if right. there's any problems after that, you're supposed to leave her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to leave her. <laughs> hey, man, let the streets show her how it really goes. I'm going to be safe going where I got to go. I told you, let's like, go. Drop, drop.